In the early dawn of May 5, 1961, a small capsule was above Cape Canaveral, carrying a man about to cross a boundary no human had ever breached, the edge of space. That man was Alan Shepard, a US Navy test pilot turned astronaut. He was part of NASA's Mercury program, created during the tense years of the Cold War, when the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a race for technological dominance. Just three weeks earlier, on April 12, 1961, Yuri Gagarin had become the first human to orbit Earth. But Shepard was about to achieve another milestone, one defined not by orbit, but by altitude. His spacecraft, Freedom 7, sat atop a redstone rocket. At 9.34 a.m. Eastern Time, the rocket ignited, sending Shepard upward at more than 5 100 kilometers per hour. Within minutes, he reached 187 kilometers above Earth, crossing the internationally recognized Karman Line, the threshold of space. For 15 minutes, Shepard experienced weightlessness, manually controlling the capsule as he observed the thin blue curve of the planet below. His flight made him the first American in space, and historically, the first human to fly a controlled spacecraft beyond the boundary of space, since Gagarin's automated Vostok capsule allowed no manual control. Freedom 7 splashed down in the Atlantic, where the USS Lake Champlain recovered Shepard. Smiling, alive, and now a symbol of American resolve. Alan Shepard's brief 15-minute journey changed history. It proved the US could stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the USSR and marked the beginning of America's path to the moon. Sometimes, the first steps into the unknown last only minutes, but they reshape decades.